Hello, GEMA students. Shion Chris here. Let's get ready to start our first general class of the week. Okay, so bow. Okay, folks. This week's focus is on self-defense. Now, normally self-defense will work with a partner, or sometimes maybe more than one partner. Okay? But in these times, it can be a little bit more difficult, especially if you're the only one in the house that's training. You can get someone to help you. But we're going to try to do some things today that allow you to practice your self-defenses without a partner. Okay, So let's get warmed up a little bit. Hopefully, you have warmed up before this and done some stretching and things. All right. But if you watched my video from the other day on mobility and flexibility, mobility and flexibility can be especially important for our self-defense. Because sometimes we have to go a little bit farther than we're comfortable with our bodies to get to where we need to be. All right, so let's get warmed up a little bit. Let's start by getting those arms and shoulders loosened up, okay? Do other direction. Okay, now neck. Up and down, ish, ni, san, chi, go, ro, si, chi, ha, chi, ku, ju, side to side, ish, ni, san, chi, go, ro, si, chi, ha, chi, ku, ju, and around, ish, ni, san, chi, go, ro, other direction, ish, ni, San, Chi, Go, Rook. Okay? Alright. If you got that staff handy from the other day, like I showed you. Alright. Grab that. Behind the back. Stretch out those arms. Okay? Get down lower. And twist. Torso twist. Each. Me. San, Chi, Go, Rook. Sitch, hutch, ku, ju, ten more. Ish, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hutch, ku, ju. Very good. Okay. Now keeping our hands here in this position, because it makes it a lot harder to lower those hands for this exercise. All right. I want you to do your knee lifts. Try to get that knee up as high as you can and try to do it without bending over. Keep that torso up straight. Okay? Here we go. Ish. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Look. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Ish. Knee. San. Chi. Go. Look. Sitch. Hutch. Ku. You. Very good. Okay. We can put that staff down. All right. Spread those feet out. Okay. What we're going to do is an exercise. We're going to turn on one side and drop into our forward stance and lunge. And then on the next one, we're going to switch over to the other side. But we're going to try not to go up and down. None of this. Okay. All right, so here we go. To the left, and there's each knee. Switch to the other side. San, back. Chi. Go. Rope. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Chi. Okay. If you're hearing that squeaking and creaking, that's not me. That's the floor, actually. All right. All right. Let's go through some of our normal basics that we try to do every class. So, right hand up for natural blocks. Ish, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sitch, hach, ku, ju. 
ich ni san chi go ruk sich hach ku ju ich ni san chi go ruk sich hach ku ju so chant ich ni san chi go ruk sich hach ku ju ich ni san chi go rok sich hach ku ju ich ni san chi go rok sich hach ku ju so chants alternate on each count ich ni san chi go rok sich hach ku ju ich ni san chi go rok sich hach ku ju good shake that off okay remember this with everything we do and most especially with all the basics is that we execute them correctly if we shortcut them we're shortcutting ourselves we're shortcutting our training we're shortcutting our possible defenses okay so we need to practice all these techniques, all these skills, self-defenses, katas, correctly. Okay? So when you're doing them, that's the way I want you to do them. I don't like the natural block. I don't want them coming like this. I don't want it stopping here. I want those elbows coming together and hands going from one side to the other. Okay? That's very important. Okay. Feet together. Hands on the hips. Groin kicks. Right leg first, alternate on each count. Okay, here we go. Make sure you're putting that foot in the correct position. Don't want to be kicking with your toes. Ish, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sich, hach, ku, ju. Okay, knee kicks, right leg first, switch on each count. Make sure you look at that target. Hammer fist to the same side. Each knee, sound, chi, go, walk, sit, hatch, go, ju. Uh, good. Okay. So, almost all of our self defenses, no, all of our self defenses in some way involve some blocking and some striking and that striking could be kicks could be punches could be shootos could be elbows okay but also our blocks could be strikes okay so we need to do some of those as well all right so let's go through our basic hand techniques that we started last week and I'm still waiting to see some challenge videos from people okay all right so let's slide out into our horse stance okay get it out there wide knees out sit down in that stance okay hands start in the power position starting with the left hand okay each face outside inside Groin, stomach, hook, shooto, ridge, palm, back fist, and again, okay, each, knee, san, chi, go, Rook, sich, hatch, ku, ju. Ish, ni, san, chi, go, rook, sich, hatch. Right. 
Viisi. Niin. San. Chi. Go. Rock. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Ish. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Ish. Ni. San. Chi. Go. Rook. Sitch. Hatch. Ku. Ju. Very good. Shake that off. All right. So. Let's start on some self-defense. Okay, first one, the cross-arm grasp, where someone grabs your wrist. They're in front of you, they grab their, your wrist, all right, they're grabbing it on top. Their right hand to your right hand, or your left to your left. Okay, so remembering that the weakest part of their hold is the thumb, all right. We're going to go through the motions so you can put your hand out in front of you. In this case, we'll work with our right hand. All right. Now, the nice thing about this is that if the hand is closer to the body, it's in its most powerful area, this here, the core. This is where your hands are going to be their most powerful, hands and wrists. Okay. So, we're going to use that to our advantage. All right. They've got the right hand. I want to step with my right to the right, okay? Stepping this way, okay? I'm stepping into their arm, all right? This is especially helpful if they're much bigger, which you should assume that your attacker is going to be bigger than you, okay? But it's allowing you to use your body weight to help your defense, okay? So, Notice what I do. They grab my wrist. I like to bend my knuckles down. Point my punching knuckles at the floor. Okay. As I step into this, I'm turning my hand up. Okay. I'm just turning my hand up. My elbow staying in this spot. Okay. Watch my elbow. It doesn't move. Boom. Elbow up. Okay. It's still close to me. It's still here at my core. All right. Also, that might help is if they do are pulling your arm, is as you step, step so that you bring your elbow into your side and turn it up. And now it's nice and close. All right. So here's our motion. Okay. We're stepping, elbow in, turn it up. Use the other hand, right by this hand. Boom. There's our blocking off. It frees this hand. Pull it back to the power position. Two punches. One, two. Okay. This is the basic cross-arm self-defense. Okay. So once again, step, turn, knock it off. One, two. Okay. All right. We're gonna do five in that direction, then five in this direction. Okay. With me here. Okay. Each. Ni, san, chi, go. Okay. Now this way, all right? Same step, turn it up, knock it off. One, two, okay? Here we go, ish. Ni. San. Go. Alright. Very good. Alright. 
me just show you how that looks from the side. Okay. I'm still got my arm. I'm stepping forward, turning it up. See that elbow? Knock it off. One, two. All right, very good. All right. Cross arm grasp. Or no, parallel arm grasp. My mistake. Okay. That's where the right to the left or the left is grabbing the right. Okay. So, beginner defense. They've got it. All right. You're going to turn and step into your arm. Chamber that other hand. Once there, that's going to, your hand is going to come down on the back of the hand, <coughs> just above the wrist, or even up toward the elbow. Okay. In here, there's a lot of nerves. And in here, there's a bunch of nerves that are sensitive. And up here near the elbow, on the inside, especially of the forearm, there's nerves and pressure points there. Okay. You're going to use either that hammer fist, okay, this side here, like you were using a hammer, or you can use those knuckles that you would use to knock on a door, okay. Those are going to go to the back of the hand, to that wrist, all right, to that forearm. Boom, 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 okay. You're going to strike it and strike it hard, okay. It's not a, uh, okay, boom. That's how I want you to hit it, fast and hard. So they've got your arm. You step in and strike. Boom. Back fist. Boom. That leg you stepped in with. Chamber it. Okay? Side kick. Knee kick. Boom. Push them away and you back away and guards up. Okay? Do the same thing to the other side. Step in. Boom. 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 Back out. Okay? That's the motion we're going to do. All right, sorry if I got a little close to the camera and cut my head off. All right. Okay, so here we go. Let's start by grabbing the right arm first. Okay, we're defending with the left. All right, so put that arm out. Each step in. Bam, bam, bam. Back away. Okay. All right. Knee. Boom, boom. Okay. Time. Boom. Chi. Go. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's do the other side. Remember, equal opportunity. All right, you can't stop that person. Oh, can you grab the other hand? No. All right, so remember? Step in, boom, 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 and back away. All right, here we go. Each. All right, knee. when they're grabbing your arm with both hands. All right. No. So this one, definitely, you got to pull out of it. All right. I don't care what you're doing. All right. But what you need to do is this. All right. You can. You got to. Well, sorry. Remember this. This is an area. Where your hands are most powerful. Use that to your advantage. All right. So they've grabbed you. One hand coming here. One hand coming here. All right. Make that hand a fist. Your free hand is going to reach over the top. And it's going to help you pull that elbow in. All right. Just to your side. Doesn't need to come way back here. 
to your side. So you got that elbow here against your side. All right. The leg of the hand you reached with is going to step back. And remember that mobility stuff? All right. We're going to turn those hips as we now pull on our hand. This hand's pulling. This arm is bending. Okay. Pull and bend. Boom. Comes out. Right? Now, we're wound up. Come back. Slap. Slap. Knee. Okay. All right. So let's do this. All right. Put, the, put that right arm out there. Let they have it. Okay. Grab. In. Back. Twist and pull. Boom. Slap. Slap. Knee. Okay. Knee. My bad. Boom. Boom. I could do a back fist there too. Doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be a slap. It can be a back fist. All right. It's on. Chi. This side. Go. All right, very good. Now, before we go on the other side, you don't necessarily have to step back. Whatever hand they're grabbing, you can step forward. All right, and do the same thing. All right, because if they're pulling you forward, that stepping forward can be very natural. All right, and there's an alternative to that. All right, we're not going to do that today. All right, so other side, left hand out in front. Okay, grab, back, bend, and pull. Slap, slap, knee. Okay, here we go. Each. Knee. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Son. Chi. And go. Show you that from a side view. Okay, they've got the arm. Let me do this arm, probably be easier to see. All right, so I grab, pull in, step back, turn the hips, pull and twist, boom, slap, slap, knee. Okay, very good. Front choke. Okay. Remember, this is a choke. They got both hands on the neck and throat. They're sort of squishy so that you can't talk. Okay. So the important thing is to get that pressure relieved from the throat. Now, nice thing about this hold, if there is anything, is both their hands are occupied and they're probably focused on looking you in the face. All right, waiting for you to pass out. Okay, and stop breathing. All right, so it makes it harder for them to see what's coming. So they've got their hands on your neck and throat. All right, what you're going to do? Boom! That groin kick we practice every class. Okay. Now remember, it doesn't matter if there's if you're striking with the top of the foot, your ankle, your shin, your knee, or even your thigh. It doesn't matter. But I want you to fully straighten that leg. Reach with it. Okay, you're gonna hit them somewhere on your leg with their with on your on their groin with your leg. Okay, boom. Now almost simultaneously as you're kicking, boom, pop the balloon. Remember, going over the ears that controls their balance. You hit somebody hard enough there, you're gonna make them dizzy. Okay, right over the ears. 
Alright, then, alright, start again. Groin, pop the balloon, grab the head, and boom, knee down, knee up, head down, boom. Step back with that leg. You have that hair. If there's hair to grab, I switch you better be grabbing. Fingers right in there, right up against the head. Turn those knuckles in. All right, boom, and push them down here. I want their head here, not here. Boom, hold on with one hand, boom, punch to the shoulder. Punch to the shoulder, not the head, not the neck, not the spine, to the shoulder. And then get out of there, okay? All right, so once again, groin, pop, head, boom, down, Ugh. okay? Let's do some of those now, okay? Here we go. Each. Boom, 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 boom. Knee. Boom, boom, boom. Side. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's go the other direction, all right? I want you to practice both sides because you never know when you may not be able to do something on your more comfortable side or your power side. All right, so here we go. Groin, pop, boom, boom, boom. Uh, all right. Each. Uh, let's try that again. Each. Boom, boom. Knee. Boom. 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 Sun. Boom. Okay, shake that off. Now, being in this smaller space brings up something I've stressed many times before. All right? A smaller space, I may not have the room to move. Okay? So if my back's up against the wall, or I'm very close to it, or say I'm in a hallway, all right, a wall here and a wall here, I don't have the room for a lot of movement, okay? Sometimes people, when they're doing that movement of taking the head down to the floor, they keep backing up. You may not have the room to back up. You should assume you're gonna be in a confined space, okay? Very good. Rear choke. All right, we're gonna have to make some modifications here so I'm not punching and breaking ceiling tiles. All right, so now they're choking you from behind and their fingers are digging in to your throat. I gotta talk and breathe, okay? We gotta get them off quick. All right, so what are you gonna do here? Pick an arm, doesn't matter which arm. And I want you to bring your bicep, okay? I don't care which arm it is to your ear, okay? Like this, don't bring your head down here. Bring your bicep up to your ear or punch straight up in the air, boom. All right, whatever hand you picked up, step back and around. See how my feet crossed? Turn that leg, I'm gonna turn and my arm will allow me to break the hold and wrap around their arms, okay? Let me show you I'm here, okay? So, bicep to the ear. Back and around, turn, break, and lock. From here, punch to the midsection, punch to the face, rake across the eyes. Reach to the back of the head. If there's hair, grab it, or the ear. But if there's hair, you better be grabbing the hair. All right, pull that into your shoulder. You're pulling their head right into your shoulder. Now, that leg, that back leg, it's gonna go back further and around. All right, and I'm gonna see how I'm in a long, low stance, okay? I still got those arms locked and I got the head here, okay? I'm gonna lay their head down by my back foot. I'm transitioning into a forward stance. Boom, right there. Not, you can let go of the hair once it's down, you still got those arms. Knock those arms down, grab one, pull it back, and boom, finish with a punch. All right, so let's do five of those. 
all right? So, standing here like this, someone's grabbed you, all right? You didn't know it was coming. Bicep to the ear, okay? I'll step around this way, okay? Step around, turn, break, lock, punch, punch, rake across the eyes, hair, shoulder, back and around, lay the head down, let go of the head, knock the arms down, grab, punch, okay, right. do it again from this side, okay, get away from the light, don't need to break the light, okay, bicep to the ear, all right, back and around, turn and break the hold, lock the arms, punch, punch, rake across the eyes, grab the head, to the shoulder, back and around, lay it down, let go, knock the arms down, grab, punch, okay, all right, one more, all right, bicep to the ear, step around, break the hold, lock the arms, punch, punch, rake across the eyes, hair, shoulder, back and around, lay the head down, let go of the head, arms knocked out of the way and grab and punch, okay, all right, okay. All right folks, that's pretty good for today. You can keep practicing this throughout the class, and you can go back and you can do our other general classes as well. Okay? Also, if you want, you can participate in our advanced class. All right. Um, I want you to keep training every day. Practice your katas, practice your katas, practice your katas. All right. Uh, remember, also, anybody has any questions, contact me. Or contact Sensei Matt, or both of us. We'll answer any of the questions you have about your training, about what else you can be doing at home during this time. All right? But let's practice, 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 and let's start taking some of those challenges. I want to see some of those videos. Okay? All right. We'll see you soon. Oh, one other thing. I'm looking to do a live class later in this week, either Wednesday or Thursday at about 7 o'clock, our normal right around our normal class time, okay? I will let you know more about that uh, in the next couple of days, all right? Looking forward to seeing you soon. This is we hope you enjoyed this video. We want you to enjoy all of our videos. We hope that you learn from our instructional videos, are entertained by our demonstrations, and you celebrate our competition and tournaments. Please subscribe to our Golden Eagle Martial Arts channels and after subscribing, ring the bell down below to make sure you receive notifications when we post new content. Some of our instructional videos are unlisted and can't be found on our channels. You can view those videos by becoming a member of our website, www.jimakarate.com. We look forward to more teaching and entertaining and hope that you will join us. Have a great day.